Hey, Lazy Girl Approved fam. I am back today with another video. It's a little bit different. I'm going to start doing um, informational or educational videos. I'm not 100% an expert on everything wigs, but I can speak to what I've learned in my experience of my years of, you know, wearing wigs and what have you. So I wanted to record a video today about wig grips. So we're going to talk about all things wig grip. I've had a bunch of you ask me questions about the differences and how you should use it, which ones you should use, etc. So I wanted to create a video and tell you guys all about that stuff. Again, I don't know all the answers to everything. I do educational videos on a lot of different topics and I always say do what works for you. Um, especially when it comes to this stuff, it is mostly about preference. There are you know, actual factual things, but it's really like what, what works for your specific head. We don't all have the same shaped heads. What do you like? What do you prefer? Do you like full coverage? Do you like, you know, there's so many, so many factors. So let's just get down to it. So when you hear somebody say wig cap, most likely what they're referring to is one of these. So this is a, just like a nylon cap, um, that, most of the time comes with a wig that you purchase. Like if you purchase one on Amazon, it's going to probably come with one of these. Um, mine all come with wig caps. Um, so this is what I started trying to use when I first wore wigs. And I say trying because I have a small head, small to average, and I don't have on the, I can't show you cause I have hair and don't have a shaved head anymore, but I have like almost nothing back here for it to grip on. Like my head is almost all the way flat. So when I wear this thing and this, I'll show you how you wear it if you do want to wear it. And this is, um, so wig caps are not, they do help with grip, but it's mostly, mostly to keep your hair contained. If that's so see, <laughs> it won't, I don't care what I do with this thing. It's just not going to stay on my head. Um, now, what you could do if you want to use these because you like them and it won't stay is put some hairspray or something on your hair so that it sticks to it. But so watch. Boop. So when I first started wearing wigs, you know, everybody was like, just use a wig cap. And that was my experience. And so I thought maybe... Maybe I was doing something wrong. Maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. But it just, wig caps just don't work for me. So, um, so wig caps that come with them are usually the most cheap version. There are more expensive ones where there's like a wide band that stays a little better or it's thicker or what have you. So you can try those out. However, from my experience, a regular wig cap like this, which is basically like nylons, it's not going to really help your wig stay on. It, that's not what it's really meant to do. It's more meant to keep your hair contained. The next thing that I tried in my wig journey was a wig grip band. So this one, I have quite a few of them. I don't use them anymore, and I'll tell you why in a minute. This one is from Shake and Go. This is, um, this is, if you're going to use a wig grip band, this is actually a good one because it has these silicone, uh, things sewn onto it. So the purpose of a wig grip band, so is to keep your wig on. Now it comes usually, I've never seen one without a wig grip band without Velcro, but it has Velcro so that you can adjust it to the size of your head. You know, if you have a larger head or if you have a small, or sorry, if you have a larger head, then you're going to put it all the way at the end. If you have a smaller head like me, then obviously you're going to put it way over here um, because you have a small head. Um, and then they come with lace and without lace. So the difference when you would use which is if you have a lace front, um, you want to use the one with lace. Um, you can use these on non-lace fronts. Um, but what you would do is wherever you're parting your hair, your lace front, you want to put that in this space so that it you can see your real scalp through this 
lace so that you're not seeing just this whatever you know this piece of it so that's the purpose of like why there are uh, wig grips with lace on them so you can put your parting space in that area now if you if it's a free part and you're going to be moving it throughout the day you got to keep that in mind but most people will even if it's free parting you will pick a part that you want to kind of stay with and then rock that through the whole day or however long you wear it so that's uh the ones with lace um and then these silicone pieces on here it's literally like it's literally silicone just uh sewn on there that gives an additional grip point so and these things actually work really well um there are also ones let me show you my my doodities so there are actually uh ones without lace and these come in all different colors so what you want to do and it doesn't really so it doesn't matter you can technically use any color like this is like it doesn't it doesn't look gray in here but it is gray it's like a dark gray so this one does not have lace um so you can use this with any uh full cap wig you can use it with a lace front as well um it just you're going to see it through the lace um, now, if you don't, if you aren't using lace fronts at all, it really doesn't matter because nobody's going to see it. So, um, and then there's, you know, this color, there's different colors. So there's like a brown the reflection is, whew, there's a brown, um, there's, you know, this color. So the wig grips come in different, um, different colors. And then I think there's actually a lady, what is it called? I think it's called the hair grip where it comes in different sizes because here's why I stopped using it. Two reasons. One, they were usually made for, to accommodate all heads, right? So this, I'll put it on. So this at its smallest setting is still very large on my head. And it is not like snug again, because I don't have anything to catch it back here. It's just basically the back of my head is almost flat. So there's nothing to like hold it at the bottom and keep it there. So this part starts sliding up and then this starts sliding back and then my whole wig could come off. So that's one reason. The other reason is the back can be bulky. So if you're putting on a wig, and you're trying to, you know, put the comb under because what you want to do is kind of put the comb under there in the back. It's just some of them are just really freaking bulky, especially because I have a small head. So I have to put it at the smallest setting. So now it's got another, you know, half an inch of fabric on it. So it just there was too many things that just weren't working for me. Now, it was a, definitely a step up from the wig, uh, wig cap, just the, your basic cap. Obviously, it is a step up from that. So that is an option. It is a um, affordable option. So those are much cheaper. Usually, they're usually like between like six and twelve dollars for those ish. Okay, and I do have some on my site. You can go check it out. I'll pop a picture and a link and whatever. Um, so the other options, and there's one type that I don't have, where which is this with instead of in the back um having this velcro it has like an elastic or a it's an elastic either way it has like an elastic piece that's skinny so that you don't have that bulk but i have the same problem i, ha I have a flat back of my head so it just bloop it, there's nothing for it to hold on to um and the i don't know how you know anatomy works or what have you maybe the shape of my head the way it is you know because you would think it would just okay it's holding up here um it should stay but if you think about it's not if it was holding here going this way yes the force of gravity or what have you would hold it but it's up higher so it's bound to just slip so there are a couple other options there are these silicone non-slip wig, wig grip bands I do have a couple of these on my site, but only in clear or transparent, if you will. Um, just I, I offer them for those of you that do like them. I'm not a fan 
for a couple reasons. One, I don't like things tight on my, how do I put this? This is like, it's silicone. So it's like a rigid, it's still bendy, right? But it's like a hard thing. So putting it on my head with my, um, like OCD, ADHD, what have you. It just, I don't like it. I feel like somebody's squeezing my head and then watch. Same problem as the other stuff. It's sliding. And it's just going to slide off. And I'm not moving. So now does it do it when I have a wig on? It does it slower <laughs> because the wig is keeping it a little bit in place as well. Um, so this kind of has the same problem um, as the wig cap and then the wig grip. So that's the other downside to silicone. If you have a really big head, it's great because uh, it stretches, right? So if you, you're having trouble finding something that fits your head, this will stretch to your head. If you have a smaller head, well, period, these come in different sizes. And there's if your head is smaller than this, you know, if it's on the small side, it's going to also be baggy on your head. So um, versus this band where you have Velcro and you can adjust it, this is just one size. One size fits most-ish. So um, the other thing is if you suffer from migraines and whatnot, I don't suffer from mig migraines, but I get headaches every once in a while that are pretty gnarly. And it doesn't happen often, but when it does, it's it's atrocious. And these will give me, like if I wear a really tight wig, I will get a headache. These, I, they do that to me. So not a great option if you get migraines from pressure on your head. Um, so there's that. So one of the other options before we go into the caps, which is my favorite, the wig grip cap. One of the other options is this, these little, um, elastic, it's kind of like the elastic, uh, I want to say like in pants, you know, like those old lady pants. That they, it's kind of like that. Um, I don't like, I mean, there's really no other way for them to do it, but there's like the little ends, you know, that irritates the poop out of me. But um, the good thing about this is it has also silicone on it. So it will give the wig something to grip on. Now this one stays a little longer, I think because it's not so bulky, but it's still like I can feel it sliding right now. It's just going to take much longer for it to slide off. And remember, the whole point of these things is to keep the wig on your head so that when you go outside, your wig doesn't fly. You don't want to be a meme where your wig is flying off. Okay. That's not what you want. So you want to be you know, comfortable and feel that your wig is going to be secure and people aren't going to be like, why, why do you have two hairlines? <laughs> why, why is your hair, you know, why? So, um, this is probably one that I would use out of all of these because it takes less time or it takes more time for it to slide off my head. So, I mean, it's on here. It's, I can feel it slipping like, oh, so slightly, nothing crazy. Um, so there's that, that is an option and it doesn't feel tight. Like it's not going to give me a headache because it's like super stretchy and it's just, I, I like that out of all the options, the other options. However, my favorite option is the wig grip cap and I have these available on my site and I will tell you the differences, um, to see for you to see if you, and I'll show you a Milano to see if Mine is what you want, or if it's, you know, a different brand, because I look, I want you guys to buy from my site, but I also want you to be happy and get the thing that you need. So if it's not my stuff, I want you to get whatever it is, right? That's just how I am. Um, so wig grip caps. What is a wig grip cap? It is a, one of these with a thicker wig cap sewn onto it. So it has the Velcro in the back, same thing, so you can adjust it to your head, but it also has a wig cap on it, and it's not a little nylon, cheap, thin thing. It is a significant um, piece of material, but not so thick that, 
you know, you can't, I can see you guys. I don't know if you can see. So I can see through this. So it's not super hot um, where it's going to make you just sweat to death. Um, but it's enough to keep, keep your hair in, right? My mirror here. So it's going to keep your hair in under your wig. So it's not popping out everywhere. And you bait. So there's two ways you could put this on and two ways to put that headband on as well. Some people, let me just show you. So some people do this and I know I already have this other thing on, but I'm just showing you and then put it on. That's probably the best way to do it because then it's like you're, you're molding it to your head, right? Some days I can't do that. Some days I can't reach my arms like that. So that's why you saw me put it on my head already, you know, Velcroed and same with this. I put it on my head already done. However, you can adjust it. And it's the similar, um, you know, what it's what your preference is for how tight you want it. I have not, even when my wig grip caps have like gotten so I've worn them so much that they're like stretched out, they've never just come off. So now I can't say that's the hundred percent the case because it depends on the size of your head and all that stuff. But I think, you know, for most people, even if you have it at a loose setting, you'll be safe. Now you do need to kind of tuck if you have some hair, tuck the stuff in here, etc. Um and there are different options. So let me show you the Milano, which is what I started with. Oh, let me show it to you. So this is the Milano wig grip. Uh this one has lace. This is what I started uh, my first wig grip cap, but they are pretty expensive and most people need more than one. It comes like this. Most people need more than one because they do get dirty from your sweat, you know, stinky. And uh, you know, if you haven't washed your hair in a minute, like I sometimes don't do, cause I hate washing my hair, you know, they can get stinky. So you kind of want to have more than one. And these are on the more expensive side. I want to say, let me look real quick. Yeah, so these are $30 on their site. Sometimes you can find them cheaper on Amazon, but, you know. So the difference with this one is it does have lace here in the front. So, um, oh, let me put, sorry, I don't have my lace. So let me back up and say the difference between this with no lace and the ones, the grip caps with lace is the same as the wig grip band which kind of wig are you wearing if you're wearing a lace front then you probably want to wear a lace front wig grip cap so so this does not have lace in the front this does let me see if i can show it there we go some people like this some people do not now, some people like this because, let me show you, so this is what this looks like, right? And also want to show you just there's extra room in here. I don't have a ton of hair, so it looks baggy, but believe me when I say, <laughs> you can see this doesn't have a lot of extra room. So if you have a big head or you have a lot of hair, you don't have a lot of anything to to. You don't have room to grow in there, so it's going to start pulling back, which can be okay. Your wig may still stay on, but I prefer to have extra room in there, and I it doesn't feel baggy under my wig. Like It doesn't feel like, oh, there's all this extra stuff in there at all. I was worried when I first got the sample that I it would feel like that, but it doesn't. So, And I specifically shopped around for different ones to sell on my site you know, based on my experience and what I've found to be the best. So this is the Milano one. The other difference with it, because this part is lace, is it does come down here like this instead of going just straight across. So you can, this does come down a little bit further to grip, but I haven't found that that's really necessary. Um, it's going to stick no matter where it is, um, on your head. 
Like it doesn't have to be all the way to wherever the wig is. It's going to be, as long as it's in the front part, it's going to be fine. I also don't like this lace here. It has like a crisscross pattern and sometimes I cut my lace really close. It just depends on what I'm doing with the wig, what it is, what all sorts of things. So I don't necessarily want that. So you can pull it back that like that and then have that lace be, you know, further back so it's not showing down. Um, the other thing is if you're going to lay down a wig, I mean, I guess if you're going to lay down a wig, you probably don't have a wig grip cap on. You probably just have a regular wig cap or something else, but I wouldn't want to be laying it down on top of this. And then you're like, it's like your wig is stuck to it. So, um, so there's that. The, um, the other thing to note is the space. So this goes back pretty far, which is good because I'll show you in a second why, you know, why it matters or what have you. Mine do not go back that far. However, to me, what I found the most important piece in just regular hair too is the front to see the front. So let me show you. And I will probably butcher the crap out of this, okay? Because my hands don't work properly. But the point is, if you're doing, look you guys, how fast my grays grow. It's been three weeks since I colored my hair. Yeah, it's driving me insane. Okay, so the kind of the point, and I've never been good at parting my hair, like my own hair even, so just bear with me here. I'm trying to get it where it's gonna stay down. So kind of the point with the lace grips, right, is, I'm going to leave my hair down again because my hands don't work, so, is to kind of put your part to show there so that, you know, wherever you're going to have it, and I did a horrible job, but you get the idea, so that when your lace front, you have your lace front on, and there's a parting space on your lace front that you then it shows your actual parting space so then it looks real now that becomes tricky if it's different colors or what have you but let me put one on all right for example i didn't have one prepared but we're going to try to make this work right all right so where is my there we go so now instead of seeing, and I'm sure you guys have seen it before, like you can see it back here, which is, so you know, the, the, I keep it real with you guys, the Milano going all the way back, it does help with this. However, most people put powder in the part, so that would blend in. But one of the things I cannot stand is when you can see the wig grip or the wig cap wig grip cap, whatever you're wearing, a wig grip, da, 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 right here, because I have a cowlick. So I have to pull my wig forward and then it looks like I have, like it's too far forward, except that I have a freaking cowlick. So I can't put it back because then my cowlick will stand out. So you see, I have this cowlick and if I put it where it's supposed to be, you can still see my little cowlick sticking out. So I can't do that. So the lace grip and the lace grip cap, the point is to show your natural parting space. If you have one, <laughs> um, my, I had my head shaved for a while, so there wouldn't really be a parting space there. So that's been the number one question that I've been asked is what is the point of a lace grip or a lace wig grip cap? But, you know, the difference between that and uh, a regular, you know, non lace grip. This. So then you would basically just put powder um, either on this whole thing or so I would say put powder on the whole thing so you you can hide the knots because you can see the knots. Um, so you would put powder and then it will kind of blend that in. But I would rather have it way back here where nobody's looking than up here right in front where I watch TV shows and I'm like, that's a wig. 
just because I can see the wig cap, uh, the difference. It'll be like skin, wig cap. Hey guys, I almost forgot one of the most important tips that people um, ask questions about, and it's one that I had to figure out myself, um, and that is what color wigs, hi bud, and that is what color wig cap should you wear? In the beginning, I assumed that I should wear something, you know, close to my skin color, right? However, what I found is that is not always the case. Yes, you are trying to mimic or make it seem like if, if they can see something under there that it is your head and not, you know, a wig, a wig cap. However, there are certain instances when a wig is thin and it is a certain color that you are not going to want to match. You're going to want to match the wig and not your scalp. Um, you could, we could get really, really, really into all these like specifics, but I just wanted to, to touch this real quick. So let me sh give you an example. This is a wig that is pretty thin. Um, this is not one of my wigs. This is a wig that I did a review for. Um, this is a Beshi wig. I do have a wig that is similar colors on my site that, um, it's like blue and purple and magenta. Um, this one is lesser quality, but it's still gorgeous. But my point is that it is very thin in the back. And so when I have, especially when I have my ponytail, um, and that's something else I'll say, if you don't know, you want to try to get your fla flare, your hair as flat as you can, because if it's sticking up in one place, it's more likely that your wig cap underneath will show. It's just the way it works. So, um, I will do a spinny spin and a shaky shake for you guys to show you that I have a light cap on with this and you will be able to absolutely see the the wig grip cap underneath with a light one but if I put a dark one on you won't be able to see it so um, let me show you it's easier for you to just see it Okay, so that you saw, like I didn't even have to shake or do anything. It was just really thin. And so because it's a purple and, and pink wig um, with a bright, you know, beige, you know, it's very contrasting. So I have now put on a black wig cap, which you see that, you know, there's a black, there's a dark root. So I will put this on and then I'll show you the difference. Now, when you have a wig that is super thin, you're going to see the wig cap just period. And you have to, you know, just know that and be okay with it. Um, either you just don't care that people know you have a wig or you only wear it inside or whatever, whatever the case may be. But so here's the difference with a dark wig cap. So as you can see, it was not as obvious. If somebody looked up close, yes, they would be able to see the actual cap of the wig um, and then your wig cap. However, you saw the difference of with a lighter cap on, it just was glaringly obvious. And then with a darker one, not so much. So you may have to match your wig cap to the wig. So just keep that in mind. My dog's trying to make an appearance. <laughs> Uh, so that in a nutshell, you guys, I hope that that helped you. Um, I'm going to go back and editing and make sure I didn't leave anything out and add anything if I need to, cause I've been talking really fast, going really fast. And you know, when you use something every day, you kind of forget things sometimes of like when you were first learning, what did you need to know? And, um, you know, just. So I'll make sure that all the details are in there. I will put links to um, the wig grip, wig grip, 
bands and the wig grip caps and the silicone grips on my site, lazygirlapproved.com. Um, if you are not already subscribed to me, please do so. Um, and if you liked this video and it helped, make sure you hit that like button. Also let me know you guys in the comments, what other types of videos you want me to do. I'm going to do a video on storage, wig storage. I'm going to do a video on hiding the knots. I'm going to do a video on washing. I'm going to do a video just, um, there's a whole bunch of stuff I'm going to do, but let me know what you guys want to see that way. I know which one to focus on first because it's just so much stuff to do. I mean, my list is long, so I, I want to know what you guys want me to do next. So let me know. Um, as always, thanks for hanging out and spending time with me today. I will see you again soon. Bye. Ooh, that sugar sweet. You got what I need.